My name is Danielle Badra. I'm a management analyst for Fairfax County Government Land Development Services, and poetry lives here. I'll be reading the Phillips Collection from my poetry collection, Like We Still Speak. I'll be reading a frame that is around the central part of the poem, and then I'll read the poem that's inside. The frame was written by my sister on her last day working for the Phillips Collection, the day before she died. There is a storm coming. The thickly painted clouds will press their way in. Your house, sunlit in its glossy whites and blues, will be blotted out, darkened. There will be no room for light in your halls. The greens and reds of the flowers will fade, if not fall away entirely. There will be only gray left, gray scooped out with a trowel, pasted on. You will breathe it in. It will fall on your children as you kiss them goodnight. They will carry it with them. There was a gray painting on display that day, a traveling exhibit she was told to rotate through, monitor the artwork, make sure it isn't touched, tell everyone to just breathe it in. She worked her whole life for this moment, the chance to stand and study light, the way it forms pigment on canvas, a white wall in an old windowless room. She prayed for this perspective, her heart pasted on with a trowel. She always knew there was a storm coming, one she had met before, been soaked by such torrential, she walked around prepared for it. Pen ready and paper, she sheltered her words close. She must have known this would be her final Rothko, her last time worshiping in the stark open chapel, a poem in the black book she kept in her purse. She carried it with her while she worked the collection, guarding art and guiding art lovers where the greens and reds of the flowers will fade. Sunlight is carefully located. The thickly painted clouds will press their way in, will rearrange the way she lived so close to vibrant colors, her arm hair electric, her skin aglow, in a way she understood the after effect of living and how it pays homage to both birth and death all in one fleeting moment she predicted that there will be no room for light in halls <laughs>